Saint Augustine commentary on the Gospel of John chapter 16 following. But the question is still further raised by what we read in the Epistle to the Hebrews. When now for the time you ought to be teachers, you have need again to be taught which be the first principles of the oracles of God, and are become such as have need of milk and not of strong meat. For everyone that uses milk has no experience in the word of righteousness, for he is a babe. But strong meat belongs to them that are perfect, even those who by habit have their senses exercised to distinguish good from evil. Hebrews chapter 5 verse 12 to 14 For here we see, as if clearly defined, what he calls the strong meat of the perfect, and which is the same as that which he writes to the Corinthians. We speak wisdom among them that are perfect. 1 Corinthians chapter 2 verse 6 but who it was that he wished in this passage to be understood as perfect, he proceeded to indicate in the words, even those who by habit have their senses exercised to distinguish good from evil, those therefore who, through a weak and undisciplined mind, are destitute of this power, will certainly, unless enabled by what may be called the milk of faith, to believe both the invisible things which they see not and the comprehensible things which they do not yet comprehend, be easily seduced by the promise of science to vain and sacrilegious fables, so as to think both of good and evil only under corporeal forms and to have no idea of God himself save as some sort of body and be able only to view evil as a substance. While there is rather a kind of falling away from the immutable substance, in the case of all mutable substances, which were made out of nothing by the immutable and supreme substance itself, which is God. And assuredly, whoever not only believes, but also through the exercised inner senses of his mind, understands and perceives and knows of this, there is no longer cause for fear that he will be seduced by those who, while accounting evil to be a substance uncreated by God, make God himself a mutable substance, as is done by the Manichaeans or any other pests, if such there be, that, are, that fall into similar folly. But to those who are still babes in minds and who as carnal, the apostle says, require to be nourished with milk, all discoursing on such a subject, wherein we deal not only with the believing, but also with the understanding and the knowing of what is spoken, must be burdensome, as being still unable to perceive such things, and be more fitted to oppress than to feed them. Whence it comes to pass that the spiritual, while no, not altogether silent on which, on such subjects to the carnal, because of the Catholic faith which is to be preached to all, yet do not so handle them as, in their wish to simplify them to understandings that are still deficient in capacity, to bring their discourse on the truth into disrepute rather than the truth that is in their discourse within the perception of their hearers. Accordingly, in his epistle to the Colossians, he says, And thou I be absent in the flesh, yet am I with you in the spirit, joying and beholding your order, and that which is lacking in your faith in Christ. Colossians chapter 2 verse 5 and in that to the Thessalonians, night and day, he says, praying more abundantly, that we might see your face and might perfect that which is lacking in your faith. 1 Thessalonians chapter 3 verse 10 Here we are, of course, to understand those who are under such primary 
catechetical instruction, as implied their nourishment with milk and not with the strong meat, of the former of which there is mention made in the epistle to the Hebrews of an abundant supply for such as, nevertheless, he would now have had to be feeding on solid food. Accordingly, he says, Therefore, leaving the word of the beginning of Christ, let us have regard to the completion, not laying again the foundation of repentance from dead works and of faith toward God, of the doctrine of the baptismal font, and of the laying on of hands, and of resurrection of the dead, and of eternal judgment. Hebrews chapter 6 verse 1 and 2 This is the copious supply of milk, without which even they can't live, who have already indeed their reason sufficiently in use to enable them to believe, but who can distinguish good from evil, so as to be not only a matter of faith, but also of understanding, which belongs to the department of solid food. But when he includes doctrine also in his description of the milk, it is that which has been delivered to us in the Creed and the Lord's Prayer. But let us be far from supposing that there is any contrariety between this milk and the food of spiritual things that has to be received by the sound understanding and which was wanting to the Colossians and Thessalonians and had still to be supplied. For the supply of the deficiency implies no disapproval of that which existed. For even in the very food that we take, so far is there from being any contrariety between milk and solid food, that the latter itself becomes milk in order to make it suitable to babes whom it reaches through the medium of the mother's or the nurse's body. So did also Mother Wisdom herself, who is solid food in the lofty sphere of angels, condescend in a manner to become milk for babes when the word became flesh and dwelt amongst us. Chapter 1, verse 1 and 14 But the man Christ himself, who in his true flesh, true cross, true death and true resurrection, is called the pure milk of babes, is, when rightly understood by the spiritual, found to be the Lord of angels. Accordingly, babes are not to be so fed with milk as always to remain without understanding the Godhead of Christ, nor are they to be so withdrawn from milk as to turn their backs on his manhood. And the same thing may also be stated in another way in this manner. They are neither so to be fed with milk as never to understand Christ as creator, nor so to be withdrawn from milk as ever to turn their backs on Christ as mediator. In this respect, indeed, the similitude of maternal milk and solid food scarcely harmonizes with the reality as thus stated, but rather that of the foundation, for when the child is weaned so as to be withdrawn from the nourishment of infancy, he never looks again among solid food for the breast which he sucked, but Christ crucified is both milk to sucklings and meat to the more advanced. And the similitude of a foundation is, is on this account the more suitable, because for the completion of the structure, the building is added without the foundation being withdrawn. Chapter 2, verse 1 and 2